Hi, I am Chuck. Welcome to my channel. We are often told that there are about 3.5 million unfilled cybersecurity positions across the globe. Some industry commentators are predicting that the number of unfilled cybersecurity positions will remain at this same level by 2025. Many people then ask, if there are this many open positions, why is it still difficult to secure a job in cybersecurity, especially if you have no experience in the field? Well, it comes down to a number of issues which we are going to discuss shortly. I will also provide a guide on how you can fix those issues to improve your chances of landing your dream job in cybersecurity. Before we dive right in, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel smash the like button and hit the notification button to never miss any of my new videos. Let's get started. The first and biggest issue, in my opinion, is that so many people have inadequate cybersecurity fundamentals, especially for technical roles. This may seem obvious, but let me explain. It's good to learn how to use different cybersecurity tools, but it's even more important to learn the basic technology fundamentals because that's what sets you apart as a good cybersecurity analyst or engineer. Over the years, I have interviewed candidates for cybersecurity analysts and security engineer roles. Even though many of the candidates have nice looking CVs with fancy certifications, many of them lack some basic fundamentals. For example, some of them were not able to explain TCP three-way handshake or explain symmetric versus asymmetric encryption or demonstrate proper understanding of what an IP address is or even explain the CIA triad. These things are very basic, but many candidates struggle with them during interviews. So how do we fix it? A good way to strengthen your fundamentals is by taking some trainings. A good one is Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate on Coursera. This is a very comprehensive, beginner-friendly cybersecurity training with a lot of hands-on labs using Linux, SQL, Python, and other tools. I will hop over to my browser and search for Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate and click on the first non-sponsored link. I will zoom in a little bit. On that courses tab, you can see there are eight courses starting with Foundation of Cybersecurity, then Security Risk Management. Next is Network and Network Security, and many more as you can see on the list here. The last course prepares you for cybersecurity job market. Completing the courses also prepares you for CompTIA Security Plus certification. You can also get 30% discount for your CompTIA Security Plus certification. Completing both Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate and passing Security Plus certification would massively increase your chances of securing a good cybersecurity role. The second reason many people struggle to secure a job in cybersecurity, in my opinion, is excessive focus on congested cybersecurity specializations. For example, many people trying to get into entry level position in cybersecurity targets tier 1 SOC analyst role. This is a good road to get started, but the problem is that there is only so many positions to go around. Also, because many people are targeting this role, the salary for tier 1 stock analyst role has gone down in the past few years. Meanwhile, other technical roles like application security analyst or even less technical role like vulnerability management analyst are often overlooked. Interestingly, in today's market, Many of these other cybersecurity positions generally pay better than tier 1 stock analysts right now. To fix this, I recommend you focus more on those less competitive and better paying roles that people are ignoring, like application security analysts, or less technical roles like vulnerability management analysts or security compliance analysts. You can watch my video about good, less technical cybersecurity roles for more insights. The good news is that you can more easily switch roles within or outside the organization if you need to try another specialization, so don't overthink it. The third issue I think people face is the imposter syndrome. In order to land a job, you need to have a good resume in the first place and pass the interview and then accept the job offer. But people with imposter syndrome believe that they are undeserving of their achievements 
and that they are not as competent or intelligent as people may think. This makes those people not to apply for jobs even when they have a fair chance of competing for the role. To overcome this issue, you need to change your mindset and understand that if you undervalue yourself, the market will undervalue you. That means you won't get what you deserve from the industry. You don't need to meet 100% of any job requirement for you to apply. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you found this informative. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and click the like button. Also press the bell icon to never miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the comment section below.